Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today's problem going to be about crossing over. I know that many students do not understand this type of problems, how to solve them and today's video though is going to be very basic and very simple would give you idea how to solve such problems. So here we have a problem X, Y and Z are three genes in Drosophila. The recombination frequencies of two of the three genes are shown below. So we have uh, three genes and we know that between X and Y gene recombination frequency is 50%. Between X and Z uh, we have 25% recombination frequency. So we have to find recombination frequency between uh, Y and Z. So here we have between gene X and Y highest frequency of 50% recombination. So Imagine that this is two genes, here is gene X and here we have gene Y. And uh, between X and Z we have 25% recombination frequency and where we can put gene Z? Whether we can put it here, so here we have 50% and here we may have another 25% and here would be gene Z or we can plot it here. Gene Z can be here. Where we are going to put gene Z whether in this position or in this position in both variants we would have 25% recombination frequency. So should our answer be that between Z and Y we have to expect recombination frequency of being 25% or should we say that recombination frequency have to be 75%. Imagine that we have here two chromosomes and we have here one gene, here we have another gene and Crossing over may happen in any places between these two genes along this chromosome. Let's say that here we have dominant allele A and recessive allele A here, dominant allele B and recessive allele B here. So this is two homologous chromosomes, but uh, one chromosome is from the mother side, another from the father side. So have uh, small uh, differences between them. and if crossing over would happen here, we would have a new combination of alleles on the same chromosome, dominant allele A and recessive allele B. Recessive allele A and dominant allele B. But what would happen if we would have two crossing overs here? We would return to our initial state. First we would have recombination, but second recombination second crossing over would return alleles in their uh, original positions. And if we would have three crossing overs, we would have recombination. Again, if we would have four times uh, crossing over, we wouldn't see any recombination. Again, those we had four crossing over happens here. So if you think you would find that um, crossing over never uh, can uh, exceed than uh, 50%. So that gives us information that uh, gene Z have to be between gene X and Y. And gene X and Y probably uh, position it on the uh, ends of the chromosome. So have uh, the highest uh, uh, probability of crossing over. And we cannot get 75% probability of crossing over between two genes, so we have to exclude this variant and here would be a position of the gene Z and we can say that between gene Z and Y we can expect 25% uh, of the recombination. So uh, percentage here equals to uh, map units which we also call centimorgans. So 50% recombination frequency would equal to 50 centimorgans distance between two 
genes and this is going to be maximum so if uh, the question would be in centimorgans what's the distance between uh, genes z and y we can say uh, 25 centimorgans and between z and x also would be 25 centimorgans so 1% of the recombination frequency equals to 1 map unit or 1 centimorgan. And this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. Thumbs up if you like this video. Please write your comments, questions if you have any. Share this video with your classmates and see you in the next video. Goodbye.